right, folks, welcome back to the show. We have a lot to get to with the uh, Molesburg panel. Uh, but first, Newsmax contributor and political analyst Dick Morris. As if you didn't know, he has a great new book out. It's called Power Grab, Obama's Dangerous Plan for a One-Party Nation. There it is. It's on the screen. And it's currently a number one bestseller on Amazon. And I strongly urge you to get your own copy. And here's how you do it. Go to powergrab411.com. That's powergrab411.com. And get your copy now and do it right now, as a matter of fact. All right, folks, so joining us now on the Molesburg panel is columnist for Breitbart.com and American thinker C. Edmund Wright and founder and CEO and president of the Hispanic Post, Clara Del Villar. And uh, welcome to both of you. Let me start with you, uh, uh, Edmund. And, uh, you know, this, uh, this uh, case in Texas gets weirder and weirder. And, you know, uh, it, it's not immigration related, but in a sense, this guy lied as, as it's been reported, to the Liberian officials. He s falsely signed a, a statement at the airport saying he had no contact with these um, uh, aid, uh, aid, uh, Ebola people in, um, in, in uh, Liberia. And, of course, it turns out now he did with several of them. He knew this. Uh, what kind of guy comes home and then lives with his family and possibly, God forbid, infects them? I don't know, but that's my point. Uh, Obama tells us that, oh, all precaution, the borders are safe with uh, regard to Ebola, nothing to worry about. Yeah. And not only is the Mexican border not safe, but apparently, you know, uh, obviously the borders uh, where you fly in from aren't safe either. Yeah, you, you know, Steve, it never ceases to amaze me the, uh, the naivete and stupidity of government bureaucrats. I remember when they first started uh, asking you in airports, has anyone given you a bomb to carry on the plane or some such nonsense? As <laughs> right. if anyone's going to admit that if it had happened. Uh, so he lied in Liberia in the Monrovian airport about uh, having Ebola. Gee, that's a shock. Here's a guy who wanted to get out of Africa and get into the United States. And now he's living with family members, and who knows how many of them are even legal and how many of them will be infected. Uh, I don't think there's any trust of, of the government on the immigration or Ebola issues, and, and they are linked at least uh, uh, around the edges. Yeah, Clara? Well, I'll tell you, Steve, I, I feel the same way in the sense that uh, I'm just wondering where the precautions are, where are the airport precautions, where are the... Uh, why, why are we letting flights in from these countries at all? Exactly. That's the first question that immigration officers should be asking as you come through the gates. I don't get it. Yeah. I, and let's move on to um, uh, something that, you know, the Labor Secretary, we've heard this from Gutierrez, uh, Congressman Gutierrez and others, but the Labor Secretary yesterday, when asked about a, a, an Obama executive order on immigration and, you know, making people who are illegal legal, said it's not a question of if. It's a question of when, Clara. Uh, now, we've learned that the when will most likely be after the election, uh, it, you know, it, it, after uh, the, it can't hurt any uh, Democrats. Uh, but, I mean, how much damage is it going to do? Steve, I think this continues to be the, the uh, flamethrower strategy of the administration. I don't believe the Labor Secretary, I don't believe Representative Gutierrez had also outlined this plan to grant amnesty to five million undocumented workers. I think they're throwing something out there because they're behind in the polls, although the President was behind in the polls with the Hispanic community before this, the immigration drop ball. But secondly, they're trying to impact the elections, and I think Republicans should sit tight. It's very unlikely something's going to happen, in my opinion. Edmund, do you agree? You know, that's an interesting theory, and, and she may be proven right. As far as the Republicans sitting tight, yeah, they probably should, but are they smart enough to figure that out? I, I guess right below government bureaucrats, I'd put GOP consultants. Uh, I saw some discussion today <laughs> where, on the one hand, that the same uh, GOP consultant said that uh, Obama's going to wait till after the election so as not to hurt Democrats, and then turned right around and said the Republicans are going to have to adopt immigration reform to save themselves as a party. I mean, it it makes no sense, and and uh, you know who, they'll they'll try and lose the election on this. Right, and Clara, we got about 30 seconds, but uh, you're pretty encouraged by the numbers that we're seeing and hearing about uh, the Republican chances uh, in, in November, correct? Absolutely. I think they get better and better, and uh, without question, we have West Virginia, Montana, South Dakota, Arkansas, it looks like along the way, Colorado is in play here. Iowa's in play, Iowa's New Hampshire, in play. Right. yeah, yeah, right. it's getting very interesting. All right, I thank you both, uh, Clara Del Villar and, uh, of course, uh, C. Edmund Wright. We'll speak to you both again very shortly.
Uh, and coming up next, Newsmax Money News Deputy Financial Editor Rob Williams will be here. If you want to weigh in, comment on the show, Twitter, email, whatever. Here's how you can do it. Watch your screen.